This Xair 42 inch aluminum super air knife has these small quarter inch NPT ports, but the installation and operation instructions recommend feeding it with, at a minimum, a three quarter inch pipe, which has an ID of almost seven eighths of an inch. As Professor Julius Sumner Miller would have asked, why is this so? My name is Russ Bowman, and I'm an application engineer with Xair Corporation. This is a pretty common question for us, not only with the air knives, but with a lot of compressed air products. I hope that the following demonstration provides a good answer to that question. It can be mathematically derived, but the short answer is this. Compressed air doesn't lose a lot of energy when passing through a small port like this on a super air knife, but our facility's header pressure of 140 PSIG after running the length of the 3 quarter inch ID, 75 foot long air hose that I ran to our test stand could supply this 42 inch super air knife with only 100 PSIG with the regulator wide open. Our test stand is equipped with a 3 quarter inch piping supply header which, as I mentioned before, is what we recommend for this 42 inch super air knife. Now you don't have to run that completely to the ports, in fact we'll show in a moment that hose with a smaller ID than that will work nicely, but we're going to first start with the demonstration using restrictively small lines. Super air knives of 24 inches in length or greater require plumbing to both ends. This first test uses two 10 foot lengths of 8 inch ID tubing. With a supply pressure of 80 PSIG we can see that the airflow is only about 27 SCFM well short of the 121.8 SCFM rated flow at this pressure supply. As you can see, the restrictively small tubing is causing a greater than 70 PSI pressure drop. This air knife is actually being fed with less than 10 PSIG. The quarter pound of force generated by 12 inches of that airstream bears this out. Cutting the tube to 5 foot lengths results in only marginal improvements with 80 PSIG pressure, Flow has increased to about 35 SCFM. Air supply pressure is still down around 10 PSIG. And as the scale will show, there has been a slight improvement in the force applied. Next, we use 10 foot lengths of quarter inch ID hose. These are still significantly smaller than the recommended three quarter inch pipe. With the same 80 PSIG supply pressure, our flow has almost doubled to around 68 SCFM but our air pressure has still dropped significantly, about half of what's being supplied in 40 PSIG, of course measured at both ends, and the force applied is still fairly weak. Cutting this quarter inch ID hose to five foot length shows an expected improvement again with 80 PSIG supply pressure our flow has increased to about 82 SCFM the pressure drop is now 30 PSI and the force has increased to about one and a third pounds. Now I've installed some short lengths of 3 8 inch ID hose with an inlet pressure of 80 PSIG. Our flow meter now shows 121.7 SCFM which is almost dead on our published value of 2.9 SCFM per inch times the 42 inch length of this knife or 121.8 SCFM. We can see that inlet pressure has dropped to only about 70 PSIG at both ends, and this airflow is now producing a total force of just under 2 pounds, which is also consistent with our published value for force of 2.5 ounces per inch times the 12 inch width of the scale platform, or 30 ounces of force, which would be 1.88 pounds. Remember, proper operation of any compressed air operated device is going to be critically dependent on getting a sufficient volume of air to it. If you have any questions about how to get the most out of our products or your compressed air system, give us a call. We're eager to help.